Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. We're going to be doing a, another taste test on these MRE tray packs. Uh, this is uh, beef roast in a gravy, and we're going to be putting the gravy over mashed potatoes that we're going to be making today. Also, these are gourmet reserve mashed potatoes, instant. They're available in a number 10 can, and they're also available in the smaller 2.5 can size. Now, these require hot water. So uh, we're boiling up some water right now with the Hatsudanabe uh, pot charger. This is the model WHC8, and this outputs 8 watts of power DC. It's fire-powered. We're using butane uh, right now to heat this. And this outputs 12-volt power, but it also comes with these adapters that allow you to charge 5-volt devices. So today we have an iPad hooked up, we have two iPhones, and they're all charging off of the power that's being generated from the hot water and the fire and the pan charger. Okay, we're going to be uh, doing an in-depth video on the new models. We also have a 12-watt model. So, if you're interested in the fire-powered generators, be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And uh, when we put out the new video for the 8-watt and the 12-watt model, you'll get a notice and uh, you'll be able to watch those as well. So, let's get to... The taste testing for pot roast in gravy. What are we having today? Uh, this is a tray pack, AmeriQual tray pack. Uh, it's called beef roasted with gravy. I'm trying not to spill. Are we doing uh, the gourmet reserves mashed? Yes, we are. Okay. Well, um, consistent consistency is definitely better than... Our last tray pack we tried. It looks like uh, this is this is actually pretty good. Ooh, look at those nice chunks. Wow. Oh, that looks really nice, and it smells delicious. So here we go. Potatoes are on the bland side, but they're not processed tasting. Um, they, they taste like real potatoes. I would say those need a little bit of salt, personally. Oh, that beef is really good. Wow, that is yummy. I'll eat this. Yeah, I'd say the mashed potatoes need something to it, like salt or butter, but they taste consistently, or the consistency-wise, chewy, but not like potato, like mashed potatoes probably should be in a lot of people's minds. I like them. And let's get some of that beef with the potato. Beef's great. Beef is exactly what you expect out of <clears throat> seeing this kind of meat, stringy. It's like you uh, pulled it out of a slow cooker. Tastes fine to me. Yeah, I could have this every day. Some vegetables on the side, maybe one, one great meal. Give it a thumbs up. Definitely need some salt and pepper, though. That's for the potatoes or for the um, No, for the potatoes, the gravy. definitely. The, there's nothing wrong with meat. Meats is fine. It's How's the gravy? The gravy's perfect. Gravy. It's, <laughs> it's groovy gravy. <laughs> Big chunks of meat. It smells so good that I'm starting to feel anxiety about there being any left when it comes to it. Mashed potatoes are okay. They're not bad. Hot. <laughs> Holy smoke. Mm -hmm. That's good. We haven't gone wrong with beef. We can't. We just don't go wrong with that. 
That's good. I like it. Big chunks. Tastes good. Good combination. Mm. These potatoes are way better than the last time we tried potato. Granted, there's no gravy on it, but it doesn't have that processed feel. It, it doesn't taste. You don't taste that processed part in there, so that's kind of cool. Let's try the beef. That's good. That's really good. Mm. Tender. We haven't gotten wrong with the beef. I actually, yeah, it almost tastes like mom's without the little seasoning and love, but it's still really good. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mm. But like everyone else says, it does need salt, pepper, garlic, butter. <laughs> As most mashed potatoes do. These beef chunks are incredible. I didn't expect that. Look, you can see the texture of a cut of beef. Very, very good. And one of the things we seem to keep finding is that we expect these things to be saltier and they come out not being too salty. Mm -hmm. Going straight to the meat. That's great. That's great. This is a hit. This doesn't have that much fat either. It's pretty lean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very tender. Pot roast. Very good. little potato action here. Now those are potatoes. Mm -hmm. Those are mashed potatoes. This is the way mashed potatoes are supposed to be. This is good. Especially good with the gravy. The gravy is very, very good. Two thumbs up? Yeah, this is a winner. I'm up for this again tomorrow. Let's have this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. or, or two minutes. Yeah. This is really good. Oh, I think this is excellent. I, I have to have seconds. I love this. By far the best. Yeah, this is really, really good. Mm -hmm. And you said something else that I don't believe. What? Say it again. This is my favorite. I think it's better than the Cuban garlic beef. Oh! And I, too, like John, was raised in the Midwest. I was raised in Nebraska. I know about beef and potatoes, mm -hmm. and this is really good. Very good. Uh, I really want some seconds. <laughs> and I'm on the wrong side of the table. Yeah, second favorite for me. Oh, and look, you're in for seconds already. Oh, heck yeah. The best thing about the meat is you don't need a knife. It is, you can just cut through it with a plastic fork. That's how well cooked it is. Total comfort food. Yep. This yep. is this is so good. Stock up on that. Stock up to sell or stock up to keep? No, for us to keep. <laughs> we need to we need to have some good stuff too. By far my favorite. A plus. Better than the Cuban garlic beef. Better than any of the tray packs we tried. A plus favorite. Yeah, this is really really good. This is how much I love my dog. <laughs> What'd you think of that, huh? Did you like that? Did you like that? Huh?